Hey everyone, I'm here making, um, I don't want to say my final Curly Girl video, but I know I said I was going to do it for six weeks, and it's the seventh week right now. Um, my sixth week, I was still in Two Strand Twists, so yeah, I didn't really update on that at all. I maybe showed you my twists and what they look like, and I showed the twists out and stuff like that, but um, I washed my hair today, you can probably tell. Um, yeah, I did a wash and go, of course, and, um, yeah, I like it. I really, really enjoy the curly girl method. It's easier than anything I've ever done, um, and the results are great. I felt, I mean, you can maybe see a difference in my hair, but I can definitely feel a difference in my hair. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but I know that the curls are better. They're more clump together they're I don't know it's just better and I know I told you guys before a long time ago that I felt like I won't be able to get my hair to wave um, you know the people most of you have this that you can do and I just have never been able to achieve this so like you know when you put your hair up in a puff you pull it back with your gel or whatever and you use a brush and you pull it back and you have these little waves that show up my hair doesn't do that. Um, it has never done that, but I feel like it could probably do it now that I'm curly girl. So I don't know. It just improves the quality of your curls. It just makes everything look so much better and feel better and it's healthier. Um, and I know before, I do want to talk about wash and goes. I had issues with wash and goes before basically because they take too long. Um, with the gel, I would have to, you know, define each individual curl. It would take like four hours for me to define my hair, and I'm just like, uh, I don't feel like it's worth it to me to do that, you know, however often, and then it might not last for a couple of days. I feel like that's time wasted, you know. If it's if you, the styling, if the preparation time is like two hours, that style should last you you know, some some time, you know what I mean? Like those twists that I did, it took two hours to do those two strand twists, but I kept it in for two weeks and then had a really nice twist out at the end of it. So I feel like that was worth it to me, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to spend your money on something that is not going to benefit you, you know what I mean? You want to spend your money on something that's going to be worth it, that's going to last a long time, you know, it's kind of like the same thing. Anyway, so this video is going to be long, I'm sorry. Um, but I did just want to make sure I got the message out to you that it's awesome and I love it. Let me turn around. It's still wet, actually. So, yeah. I know it's going to shrink up some more. It's going to look a little different when it's done. And I'm going to do the pineapple tonight. Um, so it'll be stretched out a little bit and um, the shape is going to look better. It's going to fall better. But, um, yeah. This is what it looks like right now after I washed it. And I did... <laughs> I washed it like, I was done washing it at like 11 o'clock this morning, and I know it's after midnight right now. I don't know what time it is exactly, but um, I was on Twitter and Facebook talking about it today. Like, yeah, pretty much takes 24 hours for my hair to dry all the way. Um, but I'm okay with that because when it dries, it looks awesome, so I'm alright. And plus, you know, the white... Because when you do the CG method, you leave the conditioner in your hair, and it's kind of white in the beginning, and then after it dries a little bit, like, it only takes, like, 30 minutes or something like that for the white part to go away. So if I needed to go somewhere, then I totally could have. I wouldn't have gone anywhere with the white conditioner in my hair. That's not okay. But um, I would still go out with my hair being wet, you know, with it just not having the, um, just don't touch it when it's um, in the drying process. Don't put your hands in it or anything like that unless like I guess if you want to wear a headband or something like that if you're gonna be wearing a headband then that's okay but um yeah that's how you do it um and I did kind of make a list of like pros and cons just for anybody who may be thinking about it um pros um saves money it's cheaper um let me show you my products um the anti-breakage mask from Shea Moisture is awesome I love it I used it this time to do uh, my deep condition and it's amazing like it smells fantastic and then it works really well like it was I've used it I didn't want to show you like here's the lid um, and here's the jar I used it one time and you can kind of see how much I used 
like it's gonna last a while somebody was like how many uses can you get and I'm like oh, I'm not good at judging but you can see what it looks like in there I told her like five or six I don't know um so yeah anti-breakage mask is great stuff I really really like this one I'm gonna keep buying this one I don't like the other one the deep treatment mask I don't like that one the smell is weird and I just don't like the product um, so this is gonna be a staple deep conditioner finally after a million years um, and it's CG and it's good so we're good okay then we have my um, co-wash conditioner this is VO5 uh, this is tea therapy there are several different flavors that you can choose and this one I just happened to find that I have so this is my co-wash I don't use shampoo um, and my leave-in conditioner is Tresemme Naturals yeah um y'all know I don't like the smell but I'm gonna use it because I paid for it so I'm gonna use it up I'm gonna use this one until it's gone and then I'll use my Garnier Fruit Teeth pure clean um this one smells really nice and I think it's gonna be better than this one so we'll see what happens but yeah I have a while to go plus this time I didn't use that much I didn't use that much conditioner uh, just because my hair felt good already before I mean it didn't feel good already before I put the conditioner in but I didn't have to use as much to get the same results so I feel like that's good that I didn't use as much I don't know if you're on a budget um so yeah let's do the math anti-breakage mask is 10 bucks it's the most expensive thing I have in my my collection right now um anti-breakage mask ten dollars walgreens um i bought this one actually at walmart they don't have it at all walmart so you have to go to the hood i went to the hood to get mine <laughs> but yeah walmart ten bucks um and tresemme naturals is like five um this one was 550 but i went to ulta so if you go to like walmart or somewhere you can probably get this for cheaper so we'll say this is five dollars so this is five and ten and that's fifteen dollars we're at right now uh, the VO5, uh, what is it, 95 cents? We'll say a dollar. So, 16 bucks. I mean, and these are products that you would probably still use. Like, even if you didn't decide to be Curly Girl forever for the rest of your life, these are still, you know, good products to have. Um, 15 bucks. So, I mean, I definitely can't beat that for, you know, how much did you spend when you bought Miss Jessie's and Kinky Curly Curling Custard to define your curls and all this stuff you know what I mean I got a uh, shampoo basically conditioner and deep conditioner and that's all you need um, you can still use gels and stuff but I just have not done that at all I didn't need to even when I did my two strand twist all I used was the conditioner and the two strand twist y'all saw them they stayed nice for like two weeks I probably could have kept them in longer than that but I get mmm feel some kind of way about leaving twist in for too long <laughs> I don't know why they don't ever lock or anything I know people say that their hair locks after they keep it a certain way for a week or something anyway that doesn't happen to me I just don't like keeping stuff in I always take it out before it should be taken out because uh, I just get I don't know I have a mental issue I guess so it's cheaper um, you spend less time styling of course we talked about that like I used to have to define my curls and use all this extra product and different things to define it all you have to do with this method is just the conditioner that's all that's in my hair right now I'll let the conditioner in and let it dry and I have curls so and it gets better like your first week it might not be awesome my first week wasn't awesome people said it looked good but you know they could have been being nice I don't know but um <laughs> it got better so that's exciting it does get better like around my third week I noticed it a, a nice difference and um, it's really good I like it um, let's see and it's moisturized it feels soft if it doesn't well okay I know other people do different co-washes throughout the week like um, every three days or something like that and do a co-wash and reapply the conditioner um, I'm not doing that but some people do what I'll do if it gets to a point where it's dry or anything like that, I'll do a twist out with um, my curl souffle, the gel kind of one. The oh, this yes, yay for having things available in the bathroom. Here we go. This 
uh, curling souffle. I don't know if you can see it. It's probably not focused, but it's the um, Shea Moisture Curling Souffle. It's like a gel kind of. Um, and that's what I use, like, I guess in the middle of the week if I need to do a twist out. So, um, and I'll do a twist out now instead of a braid out just because I like the shrinkage. I like how it looks shorter. Y'all know I'm a weirdo like that. So, um, so the product's real cheap, better. Um, and I'm going to wash my hair pretty much once a week. Uh, that's the most often I'm going to wash my hair. Um, just because that works for me and my lifestyle. I don't have time to do a co-wash every couple of days, uh, especially not with the drying time. I work a lot of hours and stuff, so yeah. Um, also with the Curly Girl Method, you can do whatever style you want. You can do braids or twists or whatever. Um, you don't have to do a wash and go. It's just easy. It's just super easy to, to do a wash and go. And I know before when I did a wash and go with my, um, before I was CG, it would tangle. Um, like I would just get knots and kind of like when you wear your afro. Anybody who has natural hair, if you wear an afro, in the beginning when I wore afro it was okay. Like it didn't tangle in on itself. But there towards the end, it was just, yeah, ridiculous. Anytime you, you know, wear your hair like picked out for any length of time, it just, yeah, it's a big mess to detangle. Um, and that's kind of how it would be when I did a uh, wash and go. Like I defined my curls, it would still just be like that. But now, and I guess maybe it's with the conditioner being in it or maybe it's in better shape or something now. But yeah, once I wet it, like I could just get through it really easy. Like it doesn't tangle up like it did before. And I don't lose as much hair. I lost a lot of hair this time because of, um, you know, my hair was twisted for two weeks. So there's going to be that much shed hair. What do they say? A hundred hairs a day or something like that fall out. So you got to get those. But um, yeah, I'm not shedding as much as I usually do. I usually shed a whole lot, like ridiculous amounts. Um, and the frizz is gone. Um, you won't have frizz. After you do it, you may have, you know, of course, you may have some frizz in the beginning, but um, it eventually goes away and it just gets better. So it's awesome. Um, the downside, bad parts that you may not be okay with, um, shrinkage obviously is an issue. My hair is, um, when it was wet, it was like hanging right here about, like armpit length maybe. But then when it dried, of course, you can see where it is right now. <laughs> So um, that's an issue for some people and I showed you how to kind of try to stretch your hair and stuff like that. You can see the previous video if you haven't seen that. Um, the drying time, yeah, it takes about 24 hours for my hair to dry. Um, I'm bra strap length. If I like stretch my hair in the back, it's pretty much at bra strap length. So and yeah, it takes about 24 hours for it to dry all the way. I don't use heat. I don't use a blow dryer or I don't have a hooded dryer. I don't do heat at all. So if you do that, then of course your drying time will be quicker. So but make sure you get a diffuser because that's important to have your curls be intact still. Um, and also, of course, you know, with the Curly Girl Method, you would have to check your ingredients to make sure that that is really CG products that you're using. Um, you could just buy stuff that we have talked about, um, Hoggity Curls, there's some others um, on YouTube doing the Curly Girl Method. You can do a search, Curly Girl or CG Method. You'll see a whole bunch of videos with a bunch of lovely ladies doing um, reviews and stuff on products. So you'll be able to see that. You can do Google search um, for Curly Girl Method. Water Lily 715 I want to say is her name on YouTube. She's cute and she's got curly hair and she's got a whole bunch of information on her page so you can check her out too. Um, I think that's everything that I wanted to say. If you have other questions you can comment or um, I guess whatever and I'll try to get back to you. Okay um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!